someone commented on one of my previous videos and gave me the name of a few roads in Berkeley that were especially challenging and might be able to trick up autopilot pretty well. I know Berkeley has all kinds of strange intersections and is a very active place with a lot of people and different things going on, so I thought it would make an excellent stress test for the newest full self-driving beta version to see how it performs and where it still needs some work. But first, I need to mention that it's been a childhood dream of mine to have my own website, and I actually made one and designed some pretty awesome merchandise, if I do say so myself, with all the full self-driving beta visualizations. If you'd like to check out the store, please go to AIDriver.com since I don't have enough subscribers to actually display it on my YouTube page yet. And as always, huge thank you and shout out to those of you who are supporting this channel. More news on what my wife and I are working on for our Patreon supporters will be in the next video. I really hope you guys will like it. Thank you again, and if you'd like to support content like you're about to see, please consider following the link in the description. So, unfortunately in this update, the visualizations don't show in the entire instrument cluster anymore. I'm pretty sure this is a bug because it still lists it as a feature in the release notes. So, apologies if the visualizations aren't as clear as they normally are in my other videos. So, right off the bat, Autopilot creeps around this car here to get all the way up to the stop line, which felt a little bit uncomfortable with that car making a left turn. But it was still within the lane and wasn't doing anything illegal, so I didn't feel like I had to disengage. I definitely wouldn't have done it myself, though. I'm going to be fast forwarding through some parts of this video to save some time because there's kind of a lot to see. I'm just going to be putting all the clips in this video chronologically, so no particular order. There is some pretty cool stuff at the end though, so stay tuned. Alright, so this is a two lane road and we're obviously in the right hand lane. I can see through the windshield in front of me that there's stopped cars ahead, so Autopilot's going to have to merge really fast. Um, right after we get a green light here. So let's go ahead and see how it handles this situation. Very nicely, I would say. I was actually not expecting this. I was expecting to kind of have to either, it was either gonna stop behind that parked car and I was gonna have to manually take over or something else, but it, it did it like no problem at all. Uh, steering wheel still feels a bit shaky when it's unsure about itself in this update, but it actually is feeling a bit more confident overall, which I'm sure you'll see later. All right, get ready for this one. It's pretty crazy too. So green the only has mentioned in the past that autopilot really only has behavior built in for pedestrians that are already in the crosswalk. Um, but you'll see from this example, we have two pedestrians approaching from the right and autopilot's coming to a complete stop right now and actually waits for them to cross the road. They were nowhere near the crosswalk at this point. Obviously, it is predicting their path. Super cool to see. This is something brand new, I think, in this update. Okay, a lot's gonna happen in a pretty short amount of time, so I'll do my best to keep up and explain as much as I can. We seem to dodge the object in the road here, but that may have been a coincidence, not sure. Autopilot does a California roll through this stop sign going like five miles an hour. I've mentioned in previous videos, I understand why, but I wish it did them a bit slower. Didn't seem to have any trouble seeing in the direct sunlight, and this next part is pretty crazy. Although I'm not condoning behavior like this, you can go back and slow that down frame by frame and see the front tires were in the intersection just before the light turned red, so technically it was legal. I've let Autopilot go through all the yellows at once when I'm using it. So far it's never ran a red light, but this one is probably as close as it could possibly get. It also did not perform the right turn very well. I'm thinking the red light has something to do with that. The one thing I did like is that it seemed to straighten itself out fairly quickly instead of getting all flustered and getting stuck in the intersection and requiring accelerator pedal override or something. And with that, let us get into our next clip. All right, so I am just realizing that we are almost five minutes into this video. So I have a lot to show you, so I'm gonna be fast forwarding a bit more than I was before. Can't cut this part out though. Uh, Berkeley definitely has some weird roundabouts with like stop signs and stuff that are very, very tight. 
autopilot seems to perform very, very well though through here. I was really impressed with the behavior through basically all of these roundabouts. Autopilot really seems to shine in these side streets with a lot of like parked cars and stuff to the side. It's gotten really, really smooth through neighborhoods like this. Here we go, another one of them odd-shaped roundabouts. You can see it stops a bit early for, for this pedestrian, which was okay, and just continues straight through here. Not gonna call that behavior fantastic. I'm sure you did hear the brake being pressed over and over, so it still is a bit nervous, but overall I think it's handling these fairly well. Uh, autopilot's still having some trouble picking uh, which lane it wants to be in, so in this example it just chose both. Sure, why not? I guess not worth taking over. There was nobody behind me, so nobody to get upset. Uh, just thought this was funny to point out. All right, so this next clip is definitely also some um, new behavior that I haven't seen before. Obviously we're stopping um, from this pedestrian walking out into the crosswalk. Um, autopilot does have a little bit of trouble, like kind of like hugging the left of this uh, right hand turn. I think the pedestrian kind of threw it off. Where we are right now is actually a bike lane and watch autopilot as it figures it out. Handles it very nicely and also very confidently, I would say. Hasn't really shown stuff like this before. And right after it does something amazing, it does something like this where we're stopped at this stop sign. Obviously this car is turning right and we are just still sitting here waiting for our turn. Come on autopilot. Like I feel like the stop sign performance is so hit or miss sometimes. I Sometimes it performs like, a, like amazingly well. Like I am very impressed and other times it's like that where it's like come on, come on, let's go. Like what are you doing? Um, so that's still here. And with that, off to the next clip. A common theme I see in Berkeley is just a lot of activity, uh, especially th in intersections. I think Autopilot does a pretty great job in this intersection in particular, uh, waiting for everything to clear before proceeding. Um, you know, there was like bikers from the left that ran a red light and other cars, but uh, does a good job, stays patient. So Autopilot is able to cut through three lanes here to make this immediate left. And while I fast forward through these quote unquote boring parts, I kind of want to just look at the look at this from a from perspective. Like we are fast forwarding through a car driving itself through Berkeley because nothing interesting enough is happening. Um, the full self driving beta is getting really, really good. Um, still has a ways to go. There's definitely still some mistakes, but man, like look where we're at right now. This is awesome. So coming up, we have similar road markings to like I had in my, uh, in my last video. Um, and you can see it has some difficulty here. It really doesn't like those markings on the ground. Um, so this is still, it probably needs some work. It did complete the right turn, technically not very well, um, but I did not feel that I had to disengage, so I just let it continue. All right, gonna kinda just keep buzzing through these. Um, Autopilot does a pretty good job with pretty much all of this. I am changing the nav route here to try to make things as difficult as possible. Um, just trying to, you know, make the, the routes have as many turns and stuff, but uh, Autopilot seems to go through everything fairly well. You can see it's kind of like waiting for pedestrians here to cross the street, um, but it's not, be it's not new behavior, so I kind of just go through it quickly. Same thing here, nice job waiting for that pedestrian. So coming up to a bit of a narrow road here where we have like a curb and some trash cans and some other things that might have freaked Autopilot out a lot in previous versions, um, but seems to deal with it extremely well right now. 
Um, overall, like I've mentioned before, feeling a lot more confident. You can also see the Mercedes coming from the right, um, not coming to a complete stop, but Autopilot does still take the right of way, which is a good thing. Um, this is what I expected and uh, very nice to see. So thank you for not slamming on the brakes. Check out this intersection up here. Um, Berkeley definitely has no shortage of kind of more complex intersections like this where I'm at risk of, uh, like you can see how many times that curb has been hit by humans. Um, also, I can see a no right hand turn red on red uh, light above. Autopilot did seem like it was creeping forward ever so slightly, um, but stopped dead in the tracks. And you can see it's no longer saying creeping for visibility or anything. So I think it is reading that uh, no right turn on red sign, which I have seen on previous FSD beta versions. I think the earliest version I saw that in was uh, beta 7. And we'll go ahead and quickly fast forward through this red light. You can see me kind of holding the steering wheel here just because I was a bit nervous, but it does get around this curb, doesn't get anywhere close to it, does a great job through that intersection. I'm definitely open for ideas on how to approach these videos in the future. Um, if you could comment and tell me if you like this style where I actually leave in the entire drives like this, even through kind of the quote unquote boring parts, um, I, I'd appreciate it. I feel like this video is getting a, a tad long, uh, definitely longer than I wanted to make it because I really I have a lot more clips that I want to show you. Um, but I do think it's also important to highlight that these were continuous drives. So um, any feedback or anything like that that you can provide in the comments uh, for future videos would actually help me quite a bit and I would appreciate it. I almost like my previous FSD Beta 7 video more where I just kind of go in clip by clip instead of the sh whole thing, but I'll let you be the judge. Here's an interesting one. Detects this pedestrian as soon as I'm able to see it, but doesn't start braking um, until much later than I would have actually. Um, like right when you could see the pedestrian walk out from behind the car, it shows it on the visualization, but it doesn't control for it immediately. So interesting to point that out. Here we have, where we're going straight through four lanes of uh, fast moving traffic. There's no other way to put it. Autopilot creeps out as much as it possibly can, but this is a tough situation. Autopilot is about to do something that it shouldn't have. Both sides of traffic clear while this person is still in front of us going pretty slow. And Autopilot wrongly takes the right of way. It hits the brakes for a moment, but once that car stops completely, it continues all the way through the intersection confidently. I'm wondering if it maybe was anticipating that car to make the left turn a little bit faster, but still make its way through the intersection quickly. I've actually seen this happen at stop signs before, where it starts moving before the car has cleared the path, but it really makes me wonder. One thing I'll say for sure is that it is nice to see Autopilot not getting stuck inside intersections so often. And I also want to make myself clear, I'm not condoning behavior like this. Um, autopilot should have stayed put. Um, but what I am saying is that, I mean, humans make mistakes driving all the time. I think Autopilot is going to continue making mistakes, even when it's out um, in full release. Uh, the important thing, I think, is the recovery. Um, how well it's able to fix those mistakes in a way that makes sense to other drivers. So uh, in that way, this was kind of nice to see. This is the tail end of the next clip where nothing particularly interesting happened, so I didn't show the first part. Um, it did drive continuously for about 10 minutes. Let's see how it deals with this FedEx truck on the side of the road. Deals with it very nicely. Also waits for the um, bicyclist to get through the intersection before it makes the left-hand turn. And we are approaching the end of our nav route here. I'm gonna get through these last clips as quickly as I can. I'm sorry this video turned out to be so long. I apologize, you guys. 
this upcoming intersection was fairly confusing even for me. I know that we're supposed to go straight through here, but kind of you have to kind of go right and then left. Um, Autopilot's also obviously confused, has its left hand turn signal on the entire time, but is able to go all the way through this with uh, no major problems. I was thinking that going around that stopped FedEx truck might have been a fluke. Uh, I did see this car with emergency flashers on in the middle of the road, so I decided to really put it to the test. Autopilot truly handles that exactly how I would have. Excellent, excellent job through here. Also, this is another one of those rear, weird roundabouts, but this time we're making a left-hand turn. Has a hard time with this one, but kind of understandable. This is a bit of a difficult intersection. You can see the steering wheel has to go to almost full lock here, but is able to handle that roundabout. So overall, nice job, I'd say, even though still slow and robotic. You see how it's hugging the right right here, even before this intersection? It seems to be looking further ahead than before. Something else that I have seen before a little bit, um, you see how the steering wheels turn left right there and then it goes to the right? Um, Autopilot actually avoids curves. Um, it seems better and better with every single update. So it kind of swings wide when it has to uh, in order to prevent from curbing the rear wheel by cutting the corners too tight. So coming up here, we do have to be in the left lane to make this uh, left-hand turn coming up. Autopilot politely puts its turn signal on and starts to the lane change, and this guy behind just accelerates. Um, to not let me in. So autopilot avoids that one really well. Um, it ends up just like kind of giving up when it comes up to this intersection and turning off the turn signal. Um, but I thought that was uh, really pretty smooth. Obviously that, that guy's not very nice. He definitely should have let me in, but uh, thank you for doing that uh, so we can see how autopilot handled it. But if you're watching this video, be nicer, bro. Come on now, seriously. I was going to include a clip of me going from the middle of Berkeley back onto the freeway in real time, but that would make this video like over 25 minutes and ain't nobody got time for that. So instead, I'm going to show you the crown jewel clip of this entire update, even though it does it pretty horribly. Uh, I'll, I'll give you the situation. So I, we're, we're coming out of Popeyes right now. The nav route shows a U-turn. An autopilot has never been able to do a U-turn before, but it still showed it on the nav route and allowed me to go into autopilot. So I thought I'd give it a shot anyways. Oh man, is it improper to say that I feel like a proud father right now? Like, instead of baby taking their first, first footsteps, it's like autopilot making its first U-turn? <laughs> I was, uh, it, it did it really bad, I'm not gonna lie, but man, it's so cool to see it doing all these maneuvers that it wasn't able to do before with an over-the-air software update. Overall, I'd say it's driving pretty well. I mean, humans make mistakes too. That guy you just saw right there ran a red light. Um, autopilot almost ran a red light. Um, but I mean, I, I, I think this update is pretty darn good. And um, do you, it's, it's really crazy how differently it feels from within the car. Um, overall, I, I'd say it's... I'd say it's just more confident overall. I think that's really, like there might be subtle things that I'm not seeing here and there, but I really, I just feel like the overall confidence is a lot better um, than it was before. Thanks again for watching you guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.